Today we're going to talk about how to get your name on that sync check. Hey, my name is Steve Collin from the Secrets to Music Success.com. And uh, today we're going to be talking about the three steps to get your name on that sync check. So, um, you know, our dream is, all of our dream is to, you know, be able to make a living doing what we love to do. And and for me, obviously, that is uh, music. Of course, I love surfing. I have a picture of surfing up there. But um, but I've, I love I love music. And so, um, and this is what I've done. I've I had the dream. I've had the dream my whole life, but over the last ten years, I've made this progress. I've made this this choice to be like, well, let's get my name on those sync checks. Let's create an income. Let's. I was sick of being on the road, sick of touring, and and uh, you know, one night you're in a in a in a five star um, hotel, and the next night you're in a car, or you don't even know where you are the next night. It's like, well. Uh, you know, we're in between cities or whatever, we're sleeping in the car or we're driving through the night. So, um, you know, um, this is a great way, getting your name on those sync checks, getting your music to the right people um, is, is, is awesome because not only do you get like a sync check on the front, you can get the back end royalty, which then over the years just accumulates and it allows you the freedom to do whatever you want. You know, there's been so many times I've sat on the beach or um, I'm at a restaurant and I order the most expensive. Uh, actually, this is a good, good story. Um, uh, four or five months ago, I was at a restaurant and I ordered I ordered the most expensive thing on the menu. And I'm just like, oh, OK, I'm just going to get it. And it's really funny. And then ding on my phone. Um, I just got a message from one of my publishers saying, you just got a, uh, a sync check. And I'm just like, boom. <laughs> so it was like really, really cool. It was really, really funny. But, um, but let's just dive straight into it. So uh, uh, actually, just before we do, um, if you want to get uh, my top 20 free um, uh, uh, th- song themes that music publishers are looking for, that music supervisors are looking for, if you want to make your, your, uh, the right kind of songs, uh, go ahead, go over to my website at the secrets to music success.com. The link is below, so you don't have to type that up. And I uh, download my free PDF on the top 20 themes and uh, uh, a bunch of tips on writing songs for pop music these days and, um, and a bunch of mixing tips as well. So go ahead and download that because you've got to know what you're writing. If you want to get your name on that check, you've got to give them what they want. So, number one, um, let's dive right into it. Know the business. So, you know, like when I first started in the sync world, I was like, what? They're paying money for uh, uh, for for music? That's like, and I'm like, the, the lights finally went on. I'm like, well, how much do they pay? What 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 kind of music are they looking for? How how does that work? How do I get it into the publisher's hands? How do I, um, you know, h- how do I get them the songs? What what themes are they looking for? What how will they use it? How long do they use it for? And uh, and actually, on that note, um, uh, you've got to go ahead and join my course. It's like I, I teach you through that whole thing. You've got to find out, or not if you even if you don't even go to my course, find out. Go on YouTube. How ask these questions? How do they pay? Do they go through your PRO? Do they it, does your do they pay the master? What is the master? And there's so many of these questions. And so you've got to know the business. You've got to know what what it is that. that that you're trying to do. We all know so many different um, musicians or uh, we have friends that are just like got so much talent. It's just oozing out. They're just so, so good at what they do, whether they're the guitarist or maybe if it's even um, an artist, like maybe they're actually um, a painting artist or uh, some sort of in the creative world. We all know those people that are just brilliant. They seem like they just, everything that d- does, it just looks great. But then they don't know the business. And it's really, really funny because uh, well, it's not funny. It's kind of sad, and I'm thinking of a few, a few of my friends. It's like they just they haven't connected the dots to, to the business side of it, and and then we all know, we all have seen people that it's like they haven't even got in what we in in our opinions we're like they haven't even got half the amount of talent that that I know other people have, and and yet they're killing it, you know, because they know the business, and so. You've got to know the business. So whether or not you find out from me or from other companies or YouTube or go and find out what is the business? How do you get your name on that sync check? You've got to find out. You've got to figure that out. Know the business is number one. Awesome. So then the number two is you've got to be professional. 
And what I mean by that is not only the music and all that kind of stuff. I mean, like, uh, be professional as, 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 as another human being, you know, we've all had those kind of people or those sales people that it's just like, uh, you know, they, you walk into a, you know, maybe a used car lot and, and they're, they're trying to sell you the, their car. They're trying to sell you what, what is good for them. They're, they're pushing something on you and you're like, you just don't want it. You're just like, I, I, that's, that's not what I want. Instead of asking, what do you want? What, what is going to help you instead of giving you and giving to you? They're, they're the other way. They're like, you need to buy this. You need to do this. You don't even know it yet, but you need this. <laughs> it's like, you, that's, that's not professional. That's not a professional way to kind of act. And so if you're approaching music supervisors or you're approaching uh, people in the industry, think about it from their point of view. What would help them? Don't, don't think about, um, well, this would really help me. Um, uh, listen to my music so that you can sign me and you can give me money. Um, <laughs> to think about, think about what is it that they want? What would help them? And many of these music supervisors, um, you know, I'm in the sync world. So I talk a lot about music supervisors and, uh, you know, getting a music publishers and getting your music on film and TV. That's, that's my world. That's where I, I, I love music and I've done the artist thing and stuff, but right now I live in this world and this is what I do every single day with thousands of placements. So, so what you want to do is you want to ask yourself, well, what would be helpful to them? What, what would be good to them? And, and by simply, um, you know, simple thing is, you know, instead of just sending a link or send a, instead of sending your whole album to them, maybe start up a dialogue with, with, with somebody you met, start up and say, how do you, how is your day? How, I hope you're doing good, you know, happy new year, whatever the time is. I hope that you are, uh, uh, uh keeping safe and you're, and you're healthy and you're having a great day, blah, blah, blah. So you're, you're, you're inputting to them. You're saying all this stuff to them. And then you get to the point where, hey, how would you prefer uh, me to, I, I've just come out with a new album. How, and I would love to share it with you. How do you audition music? What is the best way to get a music to you? I don't want to download. I don't want to give you, I don't want to fill up your inbox with, uh, all with you know all my album and all my details i want to know first what would be best for you you're coming from a point of being uh of serving them you're coming from a point of giving them you're you're seeing what what would be good for them and then if you fit that's great you know and so you've got to be professional now you can find out a lot of this information on uh, networking you know, there's a book I read years ago. Uh, I've read it a few times now um, throughout my life. It's How to Win Friends and Influence People. And it's it's such a great book. You know, it, it talks about one of the things I remember so clearly is that um, it talks about uh, the best conversations you've ever had is the conversations where the person asks you about you and you're just like, oh, I did this and I did this. And they're really interested and they're they they keep asking questions and they are genuinely interested in it. So if you want to get your name on those checks, if you want to be able to do this as a living, be give them the opportunity for them to have the best conversation or to have have them have the the best feelings of you. Because uh, you know, on a side note with networking, there's there was this one big public. I'll tell you a little story. Um, there's this one big publisher, um, huge publisher in LA. And I knew they were the, who they were, and I I I I I know who they were in like you know different meet and greets and different parties that we've been to, and um and so you know I went over and, and just said and, and struck up a conversation, didn't tell them anything about my music, and and uh, actually from memory, uh I was with a, I was with another person, and we kind of talked. It was kind of like the three of us, and we we're just kind of chatting, and it was like great, you know, we're just talking about just you know whatever. I can't even remember, just just general chit chat. And then, uh, you know, I didn't push any of my music. I didn't try and say anything. I was just hanging out. Then I saw him again at another event. Um, must have been maybe uh, eight months later or something like that. And, uh, you know, I was with another person and we just struck up another conversation. We we're just talking about just different stuff. And, um, you know, and uh, we were just talking it again. And then it was really funny. I never pushed my music and never said, hey, I want to send you some music or, hey, how do I get... Uh, how do I get you to listen to any of my music? I never did that. And then the third time, um, same kind of situation. I just saw him and then walked over and, and said, hey, you know, introduced myself and said, hey, I was Steve. I talked to you last time at the bus. And he remembered and and, uh, and he was like, oh, yeah, how you doing? And we just, you know, talk, talked for another 10, 15 minutes. And then, and then he asked me, 
Uh, so what do you do? <laughs> what what kind of music do you do? And, and, and what do you do? And I was ready. And so I said, hey, um, you know, I, uh, you know, I do this, I do that. And this is the kind of music. And he goes, well, great. We sh you should definitely come into the office sometime and, uh, and we'll hear some of the stuff you're doing. Great. So what I do, I followed up on that. And uh, long story short is I got a record deal. And it's so cool. It was like for one album and, uh, and distributed through, I won't give you the names, but one of the, the biggest, um, uh, the biggest uh, record label in uh, in the world. So it's, it's distributed internationally. And it's like, and that all started from just d not pushing my music, not pushing my, trying to give to that person first. And so you've got to be professional. You have to be professional. So, so awesome. Number three is make your music irresistible. So, okay. So you're through the door. Number one, you know, the business. So, you know, the places to go, you know, the, the people to meet, you know, the uh, even the virtual hangs, where, where are these people going and what do they want and, and what are they talking about? What are this, some, what's some of these jargon? What are some of these, uh, some of the words that they're using? What does that mean when they say sync or when they say 100% of the publishing and 100% of the uh, uh, the writers and 100% of the master? I'm like, whoa, hang on, that's, that's three. What, what are you talking about? So know the business. Once you know the business uh, and you're professional, uh, and number three, when you do get that opportunity, make sure your music is irresistible. And so this is such a big deal. You know, if it's uh, the production, you know, the, the sound has to be awesome. The, the mixing has to be, it has to really follow through. It has to be right there. And then your song themes, what, there's no point giving them something that they don't want. You know, it's like, you've got to give them what they want. Make your music irresistible. You've got to know the themes. You've got to know what, what is it that they're looking for? What are they looking for? You're trying to make their job easier. So if they're looking for, uh, let's say it's a home theme, they're looking for a home theme. Don't try and push your songs on, um, on, uh, uh, on the road or leaving town or something, you know, give them the songs of your, your home songs, you know, whatever the songs that you've written. And as I said before, my free PDF has got the top 20 different themes. So give them one of those themes that, that they, that they're asking for. If they're open for a home theme, give them the home theme, you know, and, and, uh, and it's, it's just so important just to, um, you know, make that irresistible. You know, if you're mixing, keep, uh, you know, um, study how to mix. If you want to mix yourself, study how to mix. How how do you get that bass to come through? How do you get that kick to come through? Study those things and then practice. Practice is such a big deal. But so, um, you know, got to make that music irresistible. So let's summarize. In order to get your name on the check, and this is all stuff that I've had, I've done from experience and I'm still doing it, is know the business. Keep asking yourself more questions about business. I got a business book sitting out, it's sitting over there in my little shelf, and uh, it's this thick, and it's um, and it still has tons and tons of stuff. And I pick it up every now and then and read a couple of paragraphs on something, and I'm learning, and I'm always online learning classes. This morning I was learning a uh, learning more tips from another uh, Grammy Grammy winning uh, mixing guy, and I'm like, oh, that's a great idea to do that, or I hadn't thought of that. Oh, that's how they that's how they recorded over in Abbey Abbey Road Studios, and oh, interesting. So uh, you got another business. Number two, be professional. I can't underestimate and um, uh, under under est um, I can't say this one enough. Uh, you've got to be professional. You've got to give first. You've got to ask them. You've got to you've got to be be there for them first, and then it will come back around. I promise you. And number three is make your music irresistible, and that means finding the right themes, uh, mixing it correctly, give them what the current, what the industry is wanting. That's the simple thing. And so, and then when you've done all this, keep going, keep doing it again, do it again and do it again. And that's how you get your, your name written on the, on these sync checks. So awesome guys. So hopefully that helped out. And of course, go to my um, website, thesecretstomusicsuccess.com. Um, and download that free P PDF of mixing tips and um, uh, how to write pop songs and uh, and the top 20 themes for music supervisors. And uh, awesome. And I will see you next time.